This video is sponsored by Trigo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 22nd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, thus far today, we've had three M-class solar flares. We started the day right at 3.30 UTC time with an M1.5. That was quickly followed by an M2.2. 2.2 and more recently about 1430 we had an M1.2 strange thing is it looks like all three of them created coronal mass ejections over to spaceweatherlive.com running a current baseline of about C2.1 we have a 55% chance of an M flare today make that a hundred percent and a 10% chance of an X-class flare today. Again, we started the day here at 36.79, which is a beta gamma sunspot, with an M1.5. That was followed by an M2.2 out of 36.83. Now, 36.79, beta gamma, 36.83, alpha. Back to 3679 at 1351, and it produced another M class 1.2 solar flare. So we're getting larger flares from the less complex sunspots than the more complex sunspots. 3679, beta gamma, 3683, alpha. Over to HMI intensigram. The sunspots we're dealing with are towards the far limb here. They are 3679, the more complex sunspot. They produce two small M flares. And then 3683, that's just about crest our limb. Over to GOES 16 Solar Ultraviolet Imager, just in the last hour of information. We have that huge coral hole up here, and we have a Huge dark filament running off the sun here. These are the sunspots about to go around the limb. Uh, this starts just after the third M flare. We will be able to see all three flares on our Soho in just a few moments. All right, over to Lasco C3, we have plasma coming from our star all day long. And here is the first of the two. I'm not quite sure if this was the first or the second explosion. The 1.5 or the 2.2, maybe a little bit of each. But it's a halo explosion, not a very strong one. And as we hit that 14 mark there, where the other M1.2 went off, I continue to see plasma leaving the sun, but I can't say it was from that explosion. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. This is only starting at 9 UTC time. The first two M flares occurred at about 3.30 UTC time. And just after that. So what we're looking for here is our M1.2 and we do find it right there just about perfectly over the Atlantic covering parts of Western Europe Africa South America and North America and ladies and gentlemen not the biggest solar flare we've seen but we're getting a small break as we should be seeing one of the behemoth sunspots coming around the limb tomorrow everyone is enjoying a strong sea flare baseline. Lots of radiation for everyone. All right, over to SDO. First on the left, 193 angstroms. 
can see all the activity pop off over here starting right about now we'll leave our so here comes the first flare right about now and we'll see more activity right about now very hard to see these solar flares they're just not as big as what we've been seeing lately try that one more time watch the time stamps down here going in to the 24th here and i'll tell you when it's 3 utc time should be about now there it was we got to see one there was the other one following that and do we see the one at 1400 Very hard to tell. It was just a 1.2 M flare. See if we do any better. 171 angstroms. I wish these were larger flares. It'd be easier to see. So I'm going to go back just a little bit here. And that's about where those flares occur. There's one of them. Well, probably by the second one there. And we're headed towards 1400. See if we can see that last flare here coming up right now. Yep, there it is on the far limb over there. Very hard to see. Easier on 171 today. Taking a look at the backside of the sun here. This was taken on the 20th, halfway through the day. This sunspot here should be named already. And we will check, but this behemoth, these are all sunspots that we've dealt with before. Uh, please notice how intense they look here and here. This one should be coming around to be named tomorrow on the 23rd. 015, one of our old friends. And in gray here, 017 should be named on the 26th, cresping the limb on that day, according to NASA. All right, this is the only other sunspot that we have been dealing with, although this is a very complex sunspot earth-facing. This is the turquoise sunspot, 3689, that's already been named. We'll take a last look at the sunspot positions. I think we can say bye to 3683. I think we need to worry about 3685, maybe 3683, 3679 is still in play. This is the turquoise sunspot that came around, 3689. They seem to become more complex as they become more central disk, i.e. earth facing. And as we were filming this update, AR3679 became a very complex sunspot. Uh, 3683 that is out of the picture. Well, I said it was an M2.2, but they've also upgraded it to an M2.32 when you look up here. Now, let's go take a look at 3679 before we go, because I believe it's ready to rumble, and that chance of X class is going to shoot up. All right, they have not updated the details on 3679, but it's beta, delta, gamma. It's a delta sunspot ready to go, folks. So, again, the chances of X-class solar flares will shoot up at this point. God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World. You can see the transition here. Scary. God bless you guys.